my fellow Cameroonians, Africans, you guys hear me. I'm speaking today because a top influencer in Cameroon called 237 Town Crier. I watched one of his videos on his profile today speaking on, speaking out against marginalization of English Cameroonians and influencers and that kind of made me reflect on the wickedness, the wickedness of our fellow neighbors and Cameroon men and women. Here it is, just take a look at the video, a piece of it. I sacrifice everything for my country. Ask me, what has my country sacrificed for me? What has Cameroon done for me? Seven years in a medical school, this is me, crying for a living. Right now in Cameroon social media, the anglophone influencers are leading. I have a lot of them doing their best to push the culture, holding the flag everywhere. I have them. I want them to go, not me. <laughs> I am a <laughs> like I said, a man comment. whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Why is it that when my people go to, to the passport office, they get disrespected? The way they treat the francophone is not the same way they treat the anglophone. Why? Why is it that when an officer stops a francophone whose ID card has expired, the case is treated as nothing? But when an anglophone's ID card has expired, they treat him as a terrorist. They search his bags in the main road, throw his things on the floor, disgrace him. Why do officers take time to check the ID cards of anglophones? In our own country, you make us feel like we are lesser than you. But one thing I want to say is this. Trauma is personal. It does not disappear if it is not validated. When it is ignored or invalidated by those we want, we hope that they will sympathize with us. The silent screams continue internally, heard only by the one held captive. When someone enters the pain and hears the screams, healing begins to occur. But when the French Cameroonians decide to take side and just stand by and become spectators and see how English Cameroonians are being marginalized, they cannot feel the pain. Of course, no wonder why they are so quiet. The silence of most French Cameroonians speaks volumes. Cameroon music, no matter how good English Cameroonians sing, they are never appreciated nor supported by the French counterparts. The French media does not give a crap about English Cameroonians, and that's a shame. Their best bet as musicians or actors or influencers is the diaspora. Cameroon comedy, no matter how good a comedian is, they don't even make the cut in Cameroon. Sometimes they are even recognized by Nigerians, Ghanaians, and other African countries than their own fellow brothers in Cameroon. Models, no matter how beautiful, they don't even make billboards. Football players, social media influencers, entertainers, all from English Cameroons are simply called Loba Mandela. Loba Mandela. Do you know what that means? Let's stop pretending and accept reality and fix what's broken. If French Cameroon does not wake up, if French Cameroon does not wake up and recognize the bloodshed and the marginalization of the minority in Cameroon, someday their children will rise up against them and there will be no rule of law, just like it is in the English Cameroon regions. It breaks my heart that a country, regardless, even if French Cameroonians were just neighbors, it breaks my heart that they cannot even recognize a neighbor being slaughtered. They go about their lives as if everything is okay. Comes to social media, same thing. So glaring. And sometimes that's why I say, Cameroon is the birthplace of Satan and I pray someday that will change. Peace out.